So, um, first, just to uh, be clear, uh, immigrants are among the most peaceful and nonviolent populations uh, in the United States. So, um, uh, one should not be misled by Donald Trump's efforts to uh, uh, do uh, fear-mongering and uh, create uh, animosity uh, towards immigrants. Um, where we need to start in addressing this crisis of police violence and the issues of the Black Lives Matter campaign, uh, we need to begin with accountability. We need to ensure that police do not have impunity to uh, wreak havoc uh, in communities of color. And that needs to start with police review boards, or so-called citizen review boards, where the community actually has the ability to control their police, rather than having the police control the communities. And those review boards should have the power to hire and fire police chiefs. They should also have the uh, power of subpoena. In addition, communities should have independent investigators who are available to look into every case of uh, death or serious injury at the hands of police, so that every person who dies uh, in with uh, due to police actions, uh, their family. Uh, has a right to know what happened. Each case should be investigated. Um, and in addition, we call for a Truth and Reconciliation Commission, because we are a society that is divided by fear, that is divided by uh, suspicion, longstanding hatred. In fact, it's known that when slavery was ended, uh, it simply uh, transformed into lynchings, which then led to Jim Crow, which then led to uh, redlining and segregation, and then the war on drugs, uh, and then uh, this epidemic of police violence. So there's a long-standing and cumulative legacy of racism and violence that we must come to terms with as a society. So we call for a Truth and Reconciliation Commission in order to truly have a conversation about race, uh, so that we can transcend this history of division uh, and violence.